Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can soft clip in Logic 10. So for some weird reason, Logic doesn't come with a dedicated and kind of aptly or succinctly named plugin called Soft Clip or Soft Clipper. You have to use other plugins to do it. Now, it's a little bit annoying, but you can still get incredible results using stock plugins in Logic, and I'm gonna show you five ways to do it in this video, so let's go. All right, first things first, what's soft clipping? Why use soft clipping? Well, soft clipping is a great way to get more, more punch, more loudness, more oomph. So it's not the type of sound you're gonna put on like a piano or a violin, but it works wonders on kick drums, snare drums, drum groups, instruments like synths, basses, guitars, you name it. So here's some soft clipping on some drums. All right, so here's just one quick example of how you can use soft clipping in a mix. For those of you who've never experimented with it, I'm going to show you a drum group or a drum bus here. It's a kick, a snare, kind of one percussion sound, and uh, a shaker, I believe. And we're going to check out the that drum group without a soft clipper and with a soft clipper while we're looking and checking out the RMS and peak value. Ultimately, I'm just trying to get more punch and more slap from this drum groove without actually increasing the volume that much in terms of peak value and even RMS. All right, I think you get the idea. So let's dive into the rest of the video and get started. All right, so here we have a little diagram to demonstrate the difference between soft clipping and hard clipping. So the blue line, that's just our normal standard sine wave. And then we have a couple points within that signal that indicate hard clipping versus soft, soft clipping. So a hard clippers is red line, and that's literally going to just completely shave off the top of this rounded sinusoidal waveform and make the top of it square like this. Where soft clipping is going to bend the top of the curve, start to flatten it out a little bit, but it still keeps a slight curvature to it. And that's because a soft clipper has a knee activated and a knee is this thing that you'll see on compressors and limiters that basically tell how quickly to engage any reduction or change in the signal. So a, saw, a hard clipper, no knee. It just, once you hit that threshold, once you, once you go past it, straight line, clips it off, shaves it off. Whereas a soft clipper eases into that. All right, so spoiler alert. I'm not gonna start talking about the overdrive plugin in Logic till much later. This is one of those almost cliche, top secret, you know, hidden trick plugins in Logic. If you look up how to soft clip in Logic, this will come up. I feel like one person did an article or a YouTube video about this and then everyone ran with it and regurgitated the information. So it you can soft clip with the overdrive plugin, but it's not the best way to do it. And I don't think it's the most efficient and most flexible way to do it. So. We'll save that for later. Let's talk about what I think is the easiest, most efficient way to soft clip in Logic X, and that is using the Fat Effects plugin. So this plugin slept on super hard by Logic users. I don't know why. It's super versatile. I use it all the time. I usually don't use it with every effect on, but I'll use it maybe with you know a couple things on at once, or I'll use it for a specific purpose like soft clipping. So there's actually two ways to soft clip using the fat effects. So what I would do is load up the default, turn everything off. So I'm gonna just do that now. So I'm gonna basically turn everything off. And with everything off, all these little tabs down here will be pretty uh, dark or grayed out. For instance, if I turn on bass enhancer, that's what it looks like on. Once you're there, I would just save that as a user default because it comes with the default patch with some stuff on. So there's two ways to do it. Down here at the bottom in your master, you can load up what's called soft limiting. Now from here, you're just gonna wanna make sure that the mix is at 100%, the output's at zero dB, so unity gain. And then all you have to do is turn your, your input up. That's it. Now you can crank this up quite high and it still doesn't, uh, doesn't actually hard clip, which is crazy. So to, to parallel this, let's load up the hard clipping algorithm in the master. Right, we have the square top, right? Completely shaved off versus this. I'll do it one more time. Right, still rounded. So great soft clipper. I don't know why it's called soft limiting, but it is. So let's turn that off now. Let's 
Alt click on this to get back to uh, Unity. And let's check out the other way you can do it in the Fat Effects, and that is actually using one of the distortion types called Soft Saturation. So in this distortion module, you can load up three different types of distortion. So let's turn all the other ones off, and here's our sound. Basically, we'll unpause that. Right, it's just our default sign sound. Now, if I turn this up, we start to get that soft clip sound. Now. It's important to have the mix at 100 still and the output at 0 dB. Now, even at 100%, it's still soft clipping. It's a little bit more of an aggressive soft clip for sure. We're starting to square that out, but it's still a soft clip nonetheless. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can introduce another instance of this to push it even further, or you can load up another type of distortion and kind of get this unique mix of primarily of a soft clip signal with a little bit of maybe another type of distortion like a hard clip or a tube sound, right? So check this out. We're going to go squared for this and we're just going to turn this up a little bit. Now, if I crank this, right, it's just going to be a hard clip, right? But if you can mess around maybe with a down sampler, just turn that up a little bit. You can mess around with, I like the, var the vary drive a lot, the variable drive. I like it on basses a lot. It's got a nice tone for the low end. But yeah, it's a great, easy way to soft clip in Logic X, the fat effect. All right, so my second favorite way to soft clip in Logic X is to use the clip distortion plugin. I personally find it a little bit funny that you don't see this come up a lot in YouTube, you, other YouTube videos or articles about soft clipping in Logic because clipping is literally in the name. I mean, it's like a face palm moment. So how do you set it up? Well, by the by its very nature, it's meant for more of a hard distort, distorted sound or a hard clip sound, but it's very easy to get a nice soft clip tone or sound from it. So all I have to do is finesse it. So here's the default preset. First thing you're going to want to do is take the tone sliders down and up all the way. So it's 20 hertz, 20,000 hertz. Turn the drive down just for now. Keep the mix up at 50% and turn the high shelf low pass up all the way. So here's our tone. Now if I turn my mix all the way up, sounds pretty, pretty squared, right? Our hard clip. So if I turn my mix down to about 50% again, we'll turn our input gain up. If I turn our, my mix back up to 100%, it's going to sound more of a hard clip tone. But it's not super hard clip yet, and I'm even introducing uh, 14 dB of output gain. Right, so again, to get that hard clip sound, you just turn the drive up. Right, and now it's pretty much a hard clip. But again, a lot of wiggle room to get that soft clip tone. You can mess around with the input gain, the mix, and the output gain. There's tons of different variables that you can use or basically different settings you can use to get a nice soft clipped sound. All right, so the third way you can soft clip in Logic X is the aforementioned overdrive plugin. So to set it up, it's pretty easy. You're going to want to take your, your tone all the way up, take your output down, maybe a decibel or half a dB, and then just mess around with the drive. I'd say that there's a sweet spot between probably around 2 dB to maybe 6 dB on most signals, depending on, on a sine wave. I can probably push it a little bit higher. But if I just start here, right, we're, we're kind of in that soft clipping territory. So if we turn this back up, right, soft clip. Now if I turn the drive up a little bit higher, we can see this line start to straighten out. And again, anytime we see that in any of these plugins in Logic, it means we're going to get more of a hard clip tone. So let's try that now. Take the drive up even further. We'll take our output down just so we can really hear the difference. All right, so you can see that's been hard clipped. All right, so the fourth way you can soft clip in Logic X is you can actually just use the compressor. Now, this is my least favorite way of doing it, but hey, it's there and I wanted to be thorough. So to do it, you're going to want to turn the limiter circuit on and then turn the ratio down, mess around with your attack decay settings or your attack release settings, and then set the distortion to soft or if you want a hard clip, clip, right? A uh, harder clip. So it just really depends. But here it is with a soft clip. Turn your makeup gain up. We'll turn our output gain down a little bit. Right, you can push it quite hard on the soft setting before you get a, uh, an actual hard clip tone. Now, if we change this to hard clip and then clip, you can see in here it starts to get more of that classic hard clip tone, and we can see that here on the wave 
on the wave window as well. So like I said, though, this isn't my favorite way to do it because you have to basically turn off a lot of the features of the compressor to do it. But hey, it's there and it's doable. All right, the fifth and final way to soft clip in Logic X is to use a third party plugin. But hey, I wanted to make sure that you guys could all access this immediately. So here's a really awesome free plugin that's dedicated to nothing but essentially soft clipping and clipping. So it's called Free Clip by Ven Audio. They have a paid version. I really like the free version, but again, you guys don't need this. We just looked four ways you can do it native in Logic X, but hey, if you want to get this, go for it. I'll put the link in the description. So this is a really cool plugin. It's easy to use. You have an input gain, output gain, and a clip ceiling. So if you're going for a soft clip sound, keep this up all the way. And you have these different algorithms. Now it's kind of funny and a little bit ironic. This knob's called soft clip type and by default set to hard clip. So, hey, it is what it is, but let's check it out. So I'll put my input gain up to about 10 dB. Let's turn our output down to maybe negative seven. And here's what it sounds and looks like with the hard clip setting. So we'll crank that output or input a little bit more. Right, so we got a nice hard clip signal. Now, if we take this knob and move it, we'll see that this curve changes, right? The knee essentially, and we have these different algorithms. So if you want a real soft clip, start out the hyperbolic tangent and take it even further to the algebraic or the final one, which is arc tangent. And you can even turn the oversampling up if you have any nasty aliasing. But yeah, you have a nice soft clip tone. So there you go, guys. Five ways to soft clip in Logic X. All right, guys, that's going to sum up this video. If you have any questions or comments, post those below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, definitely do that. Hit that notification bell when you do so you get an update when we release new content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.